seconds out, take nine, I'm showing you how to use this invoicing system which was created to help students and new people in business set up um, a professional invoicing system. Now, the system itself is already made. You've got to input the data in, which I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial. First thing to do is when you scroll down to the bottom of this video, you'll see a link to Dropbox. Don't worry, you don't need a Dropbox account. Simply click on a link, save it to your own computer. When you do, and you open the screen, you'll find it opens at this invoice page. Remember to enable the macros. Now, the dialogue might not look quite like this because of the version of Office that you're using, but if you can, just go into security, however you do it, enable the macros. This system, I must emphasize, is free gratis. There's no charge, there's no customer support, right, okay, but the system itself is pretty bulletproof. It's been tested for 15 years since I've been a teacher, so I'm pretty sure you'll find it works pretty well. Now, first thing, when you go to the review tab, you can unprotect the sheet. That is for those people on this invoicing sheet who want to, who heavily want to customize it. If you just want to use it as a business user, there's no need to have the sheet unprotected, so I'll leave it protected. Anything in green you can change. Put your own VAT registration number if applicable up there, as well as your website, email, phone, etc. Anything in green can be changed. Anything that's not green, such as customer name, it's not going to allow you to change. However, there are limits. For example, you don't want to put in half of a quantity, right? You've got to have whole numbers greater than one. If I try and put a letter in there, you'll also get an error message. Now, the invoice sheet is linked to the product sheet. Oh, before I get there, though, VAT. VAT, put decimals in there, and it will convert them into percentages. Don't forget your own EO and OE, whatever it is. Okay, so products must be, invoices must be paid within a month, etc. Now, on a products page, remember, you can zoom to selection, because that makes it easier to look at. And when you're on the products page, you've got some headings here. Change those headings and it will cascade to here and to here. Once it's cascaded to those two places, let's jump back. You might then want to start adding your products one by one. Enter them in there, click add product. Do the same thing with customers. Zoom to the selection and add your customers one by one and then they'll go in there. Now, when you go to your invoice, you will find... You can select a customer and it will populate the address. You can put in your date of order and this day, just like my driving test actually, I took eight temp attempts to pass that as well. Time of order is 40 minutes after I should have left and I'm stood next to a very nice young man who is helping me with this, who wants to remain nameless. And finally, I can then start selecting my products. You'll notice it looks up all the information about the product, stick in a quantity and it will calculate the VAT, the line total, and the grand total. And that's basically it. When you're ready to print, go to File and Print. You'll see it prints in Landscape. And when you finally finish with everything, now, if you're using this as a business, print two copies off, because then you can just reset the sheet and start again. That's it. Thank you for listening.